What up, Lincoln Nation? Here with your boy Kareem, aka Mr. Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. First and foremost, I'm gonna give a shout out to everybody who've been rocking and supporting me, got man. You guys been great. I really appreciate it, man. You guys been been great, man. Continue hitting that like button. Continue hitting that subscribe button. I will not disappoint you. Um, give you some updates on this channel. Uh, tonight we had tonight at eight the start episode one of Get to Know Your YouTuber. Get to Know Your YouTuber is a series of uh, interviews I'm be doing with with, with uh, content creators. Um, you getting to know these guys in depth more than you know them on on YouTube, which you actually see when they upload their videos or go live. You get to know them a little bit better. So um, it's gonna be great. This is episode one tonight. I have Showtime, Showtime for Showtime on Sports um, tonight at eight. I need you guys to be in there early. I, I want to soon come in. Put your notification on eight o'clock. I will be on eight o'clock Eastern time. Uh, five o'clock Pacific time. I need you guys to really put up, pull up, and show support. Um, tomorrow at eight, we have uh, Bullets Gotti. Bullets Gotti, Gotti is well known YouTuber. He's been around a long time. I got him uh, tomorrow at eight, and on Wednesday at eight, I have Hood TMZ. Um, another guy. Uh, he also push out a lot of content. Con um, content. So it's going to be great. I, I'm, I, I'm I booked. I got a lot of uh, people. Um, I'm going to be doing these series. Um, I need you guys to really support this series, man. We're going to support each other, support these YouTubers um, out here putting in that work. So tonight at 8, uh, I will be uh, live tonight with, with Showtime on, on point. So get y'all like, subscribe, ready. I really appreciate you guys. Now um, I want to talk about the Lakers. If the Lakers keep the roster as is right now, right now, they make no more changes. Of course, they have two roster spots open, so at best, that will be, you know, two, like, low-level signings. But um, let's say if they keep the roster as is, what um, place I think the Lakers will come in realistically? I think realistically the Lakers could be anywhere, I'm going to say 6 seed. If the Lakers healthy, if the Lakers healthy, I think the Lakers could be a six seed in, in the Western Conference. I really do. I don't think. I think anywhere from six to five, uh, realistically, because you have to look at it like this: Bron and AD. If, if Bron give us seventy games, I could say that's a healthy season. I mean, when I say healthy season, I don't, I'm not looking at Bron to play eighty-two games, eighty games, things like that. So if Bron plays seventy games, that's a healthy season for him. If Anthony Davis plays 70 games, that's a healthy season for him. If he plays 68, I, at this point, 68 don't sound too bad when it comes to AD. And then, you know, you got Russell always play now. Pat Bev can play um, 70 games. So, I, I pretty much, we have a pretty much healthy season. No real long lingering injuries. I think we could be a six seed. I, I, uh, what I like about this team so far um, if it's if it stays the same, you got guys who've done it before. I definitely think Westbrook gonna definitely have a, a better year. Last year he averaged 18, seven and seven. Um, his turnovers did go down the second half of the season, and I think him and Pat Bev in the backcourt they can play together. Pat Bev is a good spot up shooter, and not only that, we have to look at it like this: Westbrook will be a much better defender guarding shooting guards than he would guarding point guards. Point guards, they have a, a problem. Point guards, mind you, these point guards in this league got super duper good handle, good quickness, good burst of speed, good first step. Now, when it comes to the two guards, a lot of them guys not like that. A lot of them guys, they, they some of them guys got decent handle, but they not as fast and, and crafty as a point guard. So I think Russ alone will have a better defensive um, guarding these guys. Like it's, it, he have a better time guarding. Uh, Clay Thompson than he do Steph Curry. You know what I'm saying? He have a, a, a better um, time guarding someone like a uh, who? Like a uh, uh, he, I can't think of right now but you know what I'm saying? But y'all get what I'm saying. Two guards, is, is, is shooting guards is different. Um, a lot of them guys don't have um like I said, the ball handling skill as a point guard. And, and you know, he pretty much, and like I said, 
don't look at his size being 6'3", like he'd be small. Like I said, these two guards do not uh, take advantage of their size. If they have a height advantage, they don't take advantage. Like, for instance, Stephen Clay. Clay going to stay on the outside regardless. He's not going to really take advantage of his size. Um, that's just what a lot of guys. Let's say, like, Toronto, you got um, Van Vliet, and then you got Gary Trent. Russell Westbrook can guard Gary Trent. He'd be a much better defender on Gary Trent than he would Fred Van Vliet. That's just, just what it is. He have a, a, a better time guarding um, uh, um, Devin Booker than he do Chris Paul. So, you know, that's just what it is. So I think that with that, the veteran, we got good size, Damon Jones, Thomas Bryant. We got big guys, AD. I think that um, some shot blocking. Lobs, AD be playing more of the four this year. Uh, I think Lonnie Walker is much better than people give him credit for. I think he's going to have a, a, a good year. People sleeping on Troy Brown. I like Troy Brown's game, but I always felt that Troy Brown is better for a good team than a losing team. If he play on a high-level team, a lot of things he do on the basketball court on a good team will be highlighted on a bad team. He's not no big-time scorer. He don't, nothing is great. So when you got guys that don't really do anything great, it's hard to shine on, on, on a, um, a bad team. Now, a good team or a winning team, it's it, it definitely um, much better. So I think that Troy Brown will have a, a more of an effect that people give him credit for. I think Kendrick Nunn, this getting Kendrick Nunn back, I think that's going to be a big boost. So I, I can see it's easy six, maybe five, if the roster stay the same and, and good chemistry. Um, Darvin Ham, um, the ball can be out of Russ' hands more this year, so that's less turnovers. I just think if the, if the fans get behind Russ and get behind the team in general, the whole team, I think that we'd be um, much better as a team. So tell me what you guys think. What place is put on there? What place you got the Lakers coming in if the roster stay, stay the same? If the roster stay the same, what place you got the Lakers coming in? Hit me up on the comment section. You could say 4th, 5th, 8th, 10th, 11th, whatever you want to say, just leave on the comment. Let's get let's get the likes up. Soon you get it. When I next time I when I check my phone, I'm probably check 30 minutes after the upload. Let's say if I have a hundred people, I want to have a hundred likes. I want new subscribers that, that come out of this video. If y'all want to uh, uh, donate to the channel, the Cash App is in the description. Let's support people. Remember tonight at eight. Uh, interview tonight. Come pull up live. Peace.